Okay, this is a tangram puzzle we're going to work on today in geometry class. Um, all these pieces fit into the tray in only one way, and the sides of this square are six by six. Every one of the triangles is isosceles right, and that ratio is always going to be the same. It's going to be a ratio of one to one to root two. Some of them, the legs are on the outside, and they're an integer, and some of them, the hypotenuse is on the outside. Okay, here's the big concept first, right? Well, we're, what's really important is this isosceles right triangle. Isosceles means two legs are congruent, right? There's a right angle. If the legs are congruent, the angles are congruent. These two legs are the same, so if they were each one, this would be one, one, and this would be one root two. Again, if this is 10, this would be 10, 10 root two. Those similar triangles are always the same. Every shape in this tangram is made up of a right isosceles right triangle. Okay? There are two of the right triangles with a hypotenuse of six. So you're going to have to figure out going backwards what the leg is using similar triangles. Because you know this leg times root two is going to equal six. Okay? However, in the smaller triangles, there are two of these triangles. The legs are two. So this leg is two, the hypotenuse is two root two. The square is exactly two by two. There's one triangle, that's three by three, three root two. And then in the parallelogram, you could, um, these are 45 angles, so you could figure out the height of the parallelogram. Everything needs to be in exact format, not decimal approximations. So everything's in terms of radicals, like root twos. Everybody can understand all that? So, first thing you're going to do is draw the whole thing out on a piece of graph paper to scale. Most of you have quarter inch graph paper, meaning that one square is a quarter inch, so you need to draw four squares. So solve the puzzle, and then you know, draw your solution to scale on that graph paper. So what you need to do is you need to find the surface area of every one of the pieces inside this puzzle. Okay? So you need to get a ruler and measure them, you're looking for the surface area of every piece inside this puzzle. So both sides? Yep. Yeah, and then you're going to write that. You're going to, what I do is draw a picture and write up the surface area of all the individual parts. So you want to try and solve that puzzle, but you're also finding the surface area of every piece. We're good.